Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for joining us. We had some technical difficulties, but we're getting ready to tap Langston back in to get this interview going. Again, one second. Let me tap him in. What's up, Jonathan? Thanks for coming on, brother. All right, what's up, man? We good? Hey, so it might be a little more blurry, but this phone is a little less, um, a little less hot than than the other phone. Oh, okay, wonderful. So let's jump right back into it. You know, you've answered a couple of questions in the last sec, uh, last uh, video recording, but we definitely want to make sure that we cover some good content while we have you. you know you got a lot going on. So um, you said some of your mentors. Who were some of your mentors that inspired your journey? A lot of my mentors were women. My mom, um, my aunts, my publicists, my managers. Um, uh, I would like to say a lot of what you see as the media prints, a lot of good black women have helped me propel to the forefront. Um, Shout out to our black women. I can honestly say a black woman knows how to give you instruction Mm -hmm. And keep you humble and keep you learning. That's been like right. literally my guide through the media press. Every opportunity has been because of a black woman. That's wonderful, man. That's phenomenal. And I can attest to a woman's support is definitely strong and powerful. So shout out to Amen. Our, our woman. Amen. Our woman. So, oh, so yeah. like, you know, the king in here. Yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy right there. Jonathan King. Shout out to my guy. But, um, Check this out. So, you know, it's a lot of people that are in media right now or have aspirations to be a part of that, that um, you know, that career path. Um, can you explain to those individuals, or those individuals just quite frankly interested, how important it is to be a student of your craft? Because I'm sure during your journey, you had to sit back and observe and watch some of the greats do it. How important is it to, uh, you know, basically just be a student of your craft? It's it's beyond important. I'm a, I'm a student till this day. There's mm -hmm. always something to learn, especially in the realm of media and entertainment. Especially as a black media and entertainment, you always have to make sure that you're standing uh, steps ahead to make sure that your your brand is really being shown and really being out there. Um, I want to say a great key that I've always had with my brand is. I wanted to be the journalist that Beyonce felt comfortable interviewing with because wow. I set my I set my brand to not focus on the personal lives of others, but more so the what they bring to the art ram while we love them in the first place. So right. in that aspect, I tell people if you really want to do this and you really want to, you know, go for it. Learn your niche, study your niche, learn who's winning in your lit in your niche, learn what ways they've gone to the audience and which way they've lost an audience so that you don't go down that same path. It's constant learning and constant gain, especially with adding social media to it as well. It's mm -hmm. a constant learning lesson every day, like day in and day out. So you know, you just mentioned adding the social media aspect to it. Before social media became so popular, what was the niche that you had to have to in, in, engage the media, the media um, realm of work? <laughs> Radio and TV. Radio and TV. <laughs> and how were you able to navigate that? Because you're connected with a lot of people, brother. I see you working with a lot of people. You've interviewed a lot of celebrities, a lot of individuals locally and internationally so how were you able to navigate and place yourself in a position to be able to obtain that that exposure that you have today well it, it was honestly hard because when i came into when i came in social media was peaking already mm -hmm. so i didn't have to really like work hard far as gravitating into it i just had to just stay afloat with it um i've mm -hmm. gotten better over the years but mm -hmm. Social media is an extension of your brand. Um, 
of course, we know social media used to be a platform just to share pictures, share videos, what you're mm -hmm. doing on Sunday, but now it's become a driving force mm -hmm. in marketing and promoting your brand. And that alone is a job of itself. Like I can do all my easy work with making sure I have the blogs ready on the website, making sure we have the emails ready, but media is putting your brand in resume form visual resume form in front of everybody so you it's 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 a job of itself we have to work hard with how we master the look because at the end of the day as well too as a student of this you are in a realm of other journalists and other people that have budgets mm -hmm. have marketing have all of these things so you have to make sure that you look like the caliber of which you're competing in not saying it should be a competition but hey the entertainment media world is a dog eat dog world. So it's mm. you get in where you fit in, and if you make your mark, then you work on that mark and you catapult from there. But you definitely have to work hard with how your brand is advertised on social media, especially now since that is the now foot in the door for a lot of these establishments. Right, and I just love what you are doing, man. Especially just you know, just having, uh, you know black media in itself us controlling our own narrative because a lot of things that we see on mainstream media isn't necessarily in direct support of us you know from generate from past in the, in the past you know we know i've literally seen you know news reports and in interviews where i knew something wasn't true and it's being pushed out as the truth so tell um the people how important it is to create platforms especially those who are in the realm of work or want to learn the the the, the about that the realm of work that you're in and obtain the success that you obtain how important it is to push our narrative and not let let the, our media outlets our african-american media outlets become whitewashed Whew. honest honestly do what you love yeah um, I think a lot of people focus on the trend versus staying true to themselves, which is why sometimes black media will get washed because mm -hmm. we're trying to conform to the other outlets where mm -hmm. our media asks the best questions, we give the best energy, and literally that's, that's the, like black media is where it's at. Like you're going to if we're going to give you the gossip, we're going to really give you the gossip. If we're going to give right. you, you know, the news, we're going to really give you the news. If we want to give you the conscious thoughts, we're going to really give you the conscious thoughts. I think some people have um, doubted themselves and their ability and what they bring to the market. And that's because we're in a social media world where people look at success and stats. Mm -hmm. That will come, but that's not important. My the importance is what can my niche do to further promote that niche? Because at the end of the day, with what we're doing is we're creating legacy. So when it's far down the line, I will want me what what does Media Prince say? I want that to be something great. So I never focus, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm human. There were moments where in the beginning of my career where I tried to model myself behind others and I fell greatly short. But now I'm in a, part, a, a place where if this feels comfortable to me, if this feels good to me, if I prayed on it, this is what we're going to do. And the people that like it will like it and the people that don't like it, then that's not who I'm catering to. Facts, facts. <laughs> so I seen I seen that you were doing like I seen this picture that's up right now. Can you see it? The one with you and Charlemagne. You're interviewing Charlemagne, and this was for mental health. Tell everyone about that experience for you, because as you know, in our in our community, um, mental health is a huge issue, and um, you were able to actually be at an event that was centered around that cause. So yeah. tell the people how that experience was for you. You were able to interview people like Charlemagne the God, Taraji P Henson. Tell everyone how that was for you. It was a full circle moment. Um, so 
I'm gonna tell you that the part that part last. But the first part is mental health. To be a part of, to be around of people like me that look like me that actually are talking about getting help, talking to somebody, actually voicing voicing how you feel. Um, I think, of course, as black people, you know, being as though we've been such a triumphant race that's been resilient, always fighting, always pushing forward, True. that in our fight to keep going, we have suppressed a lot of emotions. Mm -hmm. And we love the Lord. I mean, we I mean, put no one above the Lord, but the Lord blessed psychiatrists, doctors, and people for you to vent to when you come in these moments. Uh, and I think some people have always in put that to go to church, pray on it, and, you know, the Lord will work it out. But then you have those people that they need more than that because people want to be suicidal. People want to take their lives. Mm -hmm. People want to take other people's lives. People get in race. So mm -hmm. I thought it was a great, a great realm of people who were there to really check in with others. Like, how mm -hmm. are you doing? Like, before we even, all of those interviews that you saw, before we even hit record, they actually asked, how am I? You know, mm. how are you doing? Because it's no need for me to promote mental health if I'm not really checking on your mental before we even do this. You get what I'm saying? So, yes, but girl. it was a full circle moment because Taraji is like a family member. And she's I've from DC. Like, I've met her like three times. Her, she is best friends with my cousin who is actually mm. the... um executive head of her foundation the um her which is named after her dad and so it was a full circle moment to see my cousin who i haven't seen in years to be where i am now and we're actually instead of me you know being a plus one i'm actually here off of me and we get to see each other in that realm so it, it was nice it was a nice um full circle moment just to see something like we're doing, you know, we're doing something like this to this magnitude, and I'm able to talk to these people with a little boy out of Southside was able to create yeah, something to where yeah. I could now talk to Oscar winners and people that are setting the trends in media. So it was, it was dope. That was, that was right. a dope moment. So with that, like, because we have, you know, as I mentioned before, a lot of youth that's on here, like, and they were super excited when they knew that we were going to have you on because they're from, you know, from some property stricken areas as well, but they have aspirations to do some of the work that you're doing. So for that individual, that youth or that adult that, are, that is pursuing a career in media, what should they, what are some of the things they should look out for during that, during that path? You know, you know how you have your bumps in the road. What are some of the things, if you can do it all over again, you would do differently? I wouldn't do anything different, honestly. Oh, um, there was nothing. Yeah. Honestly, there was nothing I could do different. Just because I'm big on faith. This was faith. I was meant to yeah. do exactly that to get to where I am now. Mm -hmm. um, I want to tell them that though the biggest thing of it all is beyond this craft is speaking life into everything you do. I think sometimes as a people we've done it, and we I've been guilty of it before you'll big yourself up and kill yourself in the same sentence. And it's like, how do you win off that? Mm. And of course we come from an area, you know, this is government city, get a government job, 401k benefits. Absolutely. And you made it. <laughs> right. And, but you don't instill that you really can do whatever you set your mind to like literally can really, do whatever you set your mind to. And that's the aspect of it all is I can do anything and I really can. And who am I to limit myself on what I can do when my future is already set for me to be doing everything? Facts. I love it. I love it. So, all right, with with that confidence, I, I love the confidence, but there has to be some challenges in the journey as well. What are some of the challenges that individuals in, in your realm of work 
um, may have to, what are some of the challenges that you had to face, um, you know, when you were pursuing, you know, your career and everything? Tell the people about those. I think my, honestly, my biggest challenge, especially for here, um, in the realm of media, if you're not in the DMV, if you're not TV or radio, mm -hmm. you're pretty much like the the bottom of the barrel. So I had to fight a statistic that when I came in, there was only one person that was that was walking the fine line of blogging and being able to be seen to the next plateau, and that was just that was Pat is dope. Okay. And the difficulty with starting was being compared. Well, not, you know, that was a great thing, but being um, just put in that box of this is the cap of where you can get a, you got a charger? Actually, I have mine. Do you have a wall piece? That way I can stick it at the bottom. Uh, so that was that. And then we're really trying to be seen in a realm of peers that I, I knew that I had the potential to be around and really it was, <laughs> there were times with the media prints where I felt so out of place because it was put in, um, it was put in, in my head like I shouldn't be here. You know, I have work to do when all in reality, I was meant to be there. And I self, I doubted myself a lot, especially because when I came in the game, it was definitely TV. If if you ain't on WKYS, if you ain't on 95.5, you ain't on mm -hmm. Hot 99.5, if you ain't on WHUR, uh, if you're not on mm -hmm. Fox 5, if you're not on right, ABC, right. who are you? And so I had to really fight hard for to actually make my own name. Like, And it, it was a lot of times between, as I started in 2015, between 2015 and 2017, there were a lot of times where I, I did the thing where I would speak life and kill myself in the same sentence and going through phases where is this really what I'm meant to do? And that was insecurities and struggles. I had to personally get over myself because why am I doubting myself, one? And then two, why am I basing my success off if I'm in this room or if I'm in this arena? So... That was like the biggest hardship. And thankfully, I've had great support systems. My publicist tells me all the time, you know, be thankful for what you've been able to do off of you. And I want that to be an example for other people that you can be great off your own name and not have to piggyback off anybody's. And I want that to be like the defining thing that if whatever you saw me do, you can do. Because if I if I can build myself up, ain't no telling what you can do. You get what I'm saying? We have strength right. and power within us that a lot of us have to really just, um, you say it's confidence, but it's just a point where I understand who I am and what I was made to do. So who am I to continue to waste time feeding bad thoughts into greatness that's already it? That's already instilled in you. Absolutely. I love it, man. And I, I, to add on to that, just, I mean, you know, I think a lot of people kind of worry about what barriers that they may face. I mean, I think that the understanding of your own greatness is, is, is all you need. You don't even have to worry about things or people, you know, getting in the way of your journey if you truly believe in your, in your destiny. So that is And we're powerful. black. We're black. Like, that's the, that's the key thing. We're Absolutely. black. We are <laughs> We are meant to be kings, queens. We're meant to be respected. We come from royalty. We are royalty. We're culture. We're media. We're music. We're lifestyle. We're food. We're everything. You get what I'm saying? So absolutely. In a world where, like, how we're in a place where we are now, where they're trying, like, you see, the resilience continues to impact, and they hate that because mm -hmm. we are everything. And so with knowing who we are, I take that into everything. And I hope that people understand how dope and how important they are. You get what I'm saying? Because some people really, and, and the sad part is some of us take years to really find out that we've been the shit the entire time. We've just, 
Facts. You know what I'm saying? We, I'm sorry. We've been the stuff the entire time, but we've been doubting ourselves. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like Absolutely. real life. A lot of right. our own, a lot of our holdups from making it to the next plateau is us and not allowing us to be better than what we are. But that's a whole system of crap that's been put on us to think how we supposed to be, how we have been. Thinking. The time is now, though. The time is now the time to reshift. Absolutely. The time is now. So, Brandon, man, you do a phenomenal job. I've been watching your work and I've been watching your page and the way you just put out all of your content, man. Your branding is just on another level. Can you talk to the people about how important, you know, you know, branding is and how you critique some of the things that you put out? Yeah, uh, with branding, it's just, it used to be something that I would just sporadically just find myself posting the right things at the right time. Now, I actually study my analytics when my attraction is high. So whenever I post, it's I cause because I know people are tuned into the media prints at that particular time. I also pay attention to holidays, trends, hashtags, and how I can put my brand into it and not make it feel like I'm jumping on a bandwagon and still feeling original because sometimes we all know when great when big things are happening everyone is posting but the idea is now mm -hmm. i look into what ways that i can post and it be so original and so different that it brings the attraction back over here so it's a lot of hard work mm -hmm. a lot of classes a lot of studying a lot of talking over with my publicist a lot of yes is a lot of no's um every now and mm -hmm. then you may catch me slip up and post something and you'll you'll Refresh your screen and it's gone already. <laughs> but um, it's also too, I think I have we all look. have those moments. Let's be real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I also I have a look. There's a look on like if you and if you've been following me for a while, it just continues with growth. You know, it gets better and better. But now I have a look of which I like to have my content look like because at the end of the day, this is my visual resume before you read my written resume so um i definitely pay attention to everything into detail and um the uniform of it all so brandon is like i say it's, an, it's, a, it's a whole nother aspect to the to the to the whole layer of a brand itself like branding is homework and i think once people understand what their brand is, then it's easy to capture that. Absolutely. So speaking of branding, 11 million hits on your website. 11 million, not 1 million, 11 million. <laughs> Speak on how that feels, brother, and some of the things that, some of the work that was put into to, to create a website that's getting that much, that much views, man. Like that is, Huge, eleven million. It's, it's still surreal, even when I. And, and I by the, one second, by the way, his his website is pent right here, themediaprints.com. Make sure y'all visit him <laughs> and support what he's got going on. But tell the people how that how does that feel, brother? It's surreal. It's really surreal. Even when I post the pictures of like the numbers and stuff, I'm like, dang, I, like I, reflection moments. I'm like, dang, I did that. I'm like. Mm -hmm. The idea of the media press literally was not about me. It was about promoting the greatness of others. You get what I'm saying? And word of mouth, you know, you promote one friend, they five friends want to be promoted. So it kept, it just kept going. It kept going. Um, I think a big, a big asset to it too is I spend a lot of money in, um, SEOs, which is uh, search it engine optimization, uh, Google AdWords, because the thing is now if I have these clicks, I want to make sure I'm getting the clicks that Billboard's getting or the clicks that Complex is getting, Fuse mm. is getting. So I have to pay attention website-wise. What, what words are they buying? What words are they using? Which tags are they using? Which celebrity um, keyholes are they using to attach to their articles that people click it if 
that particular artist is Google. So it's a lot with that, and I'm still learning that each day. Um, we're getting close to 12 million hits, um, but I'm going to keep going. The goal is I want once I get 100 million, then – then, then I'm really big shit. But for right hey, now, I'm, right. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very thankful for where I'm at, though, because this goes to show that um, you can do it. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, this little kid, this little this little young boy from, you know, Ward 8 is out here creating content that is competing with the likes of Billboard. And that's that's just where we at. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I remember this. I remember that night. I was nervous as hell. You was nervous. <laughs> was I? Because this was a finesse night. This is what, okay, if you really want to be in this game and you really think you made for it, you got to be ready at all times, even when you're not ready. Mm. We pulled up mm. to this event. This is for TV One. We were doing the Bobby DeBarge story. Wow. I forget this. It was no tomorrow. Got to the event. I had no, ba the batteries that I had died. I had to go to the mm -hmm. store, get batteries. The mic died for the camera. Had to finesse my, because we were doing things with iHeartRadio. I had to finesse with the iHeartRadio mic, put the phone mic behind the mic and record this interview. So it's, it's stuff like this. You People don't realize the red you carpet. See it, yeah. The red carpet is like the make or break it of a journalism, of a journalist. Because that's where you really find out if you are made for this. And then you, you're you also on a carpet with your counterparts that are very successful mm -hmm. in this. Mm -hmm. And they will take that interview from you if they can take that interview from you. So you got to be, like, ready to do this. And mm -hmm. uh, by the grace of God, everything worked out perfect. And then from that relationship, from that interview, um. I gained a nice relationship with TV One. That's wonderful, man. That's great. That's great. So the Black Code, you you have, you have a talk <laughs> about the Black Code. Um, yes, sir. Let everybody know about the Black Code. With the with the uh, what is the mission behind the Black Code, and um, some of some of the things that you all are doing on the show. So the Black Code, it's actually this. Uh, I, the Black Code is actually the second season of. The Code. We were um, originally known as The Code, but we mm -hmm. uh, it was comprised of myself, Mini Skirt Mert, uh, Buzzy Baker, and Ravy Baby. But Ravy Baby and um, Baker both moved to L.A. They're doing great things in L.A. Um, they've been everywhere. So the idea was we wanted to bring a new host. We, um, we found Raven Paris, who's epic, and Walt, uh, Walt who is epic. And we wanted to not only bring the host back in a new way, but also bring the show back in a new way. So we were just brainstorming and we were already deemed the code, but we were like, we're black and we really want to do focus on black. Like we, everything's black. We talking about hair, black hair, uh, black beauty products, black food, black gatherings, black music. So we was it. like, let's change it to the black code. And, um, it's been a it's been a nice 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 um we're seeing that a lot of people are liking the new switch up so we're actually we started to premiere and then of course corona came so we all individually have been taking the corona time to focus on individually our crafts and how we wanted to manifest and maneuver in this covid mm -hmm. time but mm -hmm. i will let you know that the black coast um, some new episodes are getting ready to come at you very, very soon. And I think you guys will be very proud of the content that you'll see from us. And I think you'll be able to relate to every host. Like mm -hmm. each of us speaks that personality of that black person in the group. So they call me the wild card because I pretty much <laughs> say anything. Uh, Mert is the, ba the, bossy, the bossy one who wants everything her way. So as you know, you have that friend in the group. And then Raven yeah. is the, Raven's the middle man that brings all, all three of us in together. And Walt, you thought I was wild, the wild child. He's the drunk wild child that is <laughs> shotting everything. Tequila for everyone. So it's good morning. His good morning is tequila shots. 
So you wow. have everybody, each person you can relate to. And so when we bring these topics, uh, the thing I like about it is every person on the cast answers for that particular black person that feels that exact same way. So you could be watching the show like, dang. Right, I'd say it just like that. Like they got me down pat. Yeah. So man, yeah. I love how y'all how you like pushing the culture forward through 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 your platform, man. So salute to that. Um, I noticed that you 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 mentioned it's a lot of studying um to perfect your craft, and you're still a student in some some capacity. What are some of the books that you can recommend to those who are on right now who are pursuing? Um, a, a career in media. What are some of those, some of the books that you can recommend to the people? Ooh. Um, there's no set books for media, but okay. I want, the things I do want people, I do want people to read these particular different types of topics to, to just learn more. I would definitely say pick up marketing, a lot of marketing books. Um, pick up social media for dummies. Um, that's a good, um, I will also probably, honestly, a good thing too, is not with the craft, it's also visual as well. I think with this field, you should also, um, watch a lot of the interviews or the writings of the people you look up to in this industry. Like for me, I really love watching Terrence J's interviews. I love watching, um, Blogzilla's interviews. I love to watching. I love watching Sway. I love watching um, old interviews of Lala. Oh, my cousins are here. I done. And um, those just continue to enhance me more and more. Because sometimes reading can only do so much. And in this craft that we're in, we have to visually see ourselves uh -huh. in those. And so um, a lot of that also comes with paying attention to those that I feel so lots of watching YouTube interviews and everything. At one point I studied Oprah and Gail, but um lady they've been turning me off as far as how they pressure the answer out of people. I like it uh -huh. to be so smooth in conversation. So those are the type of things that I like to take into what I do. So I it, those man. are my tips to give to you to work on what you do, but definitely read a lot of marketing books, social mm -hmm. media dummies. Um, definitely, if you're writing, um, take as many English literature classes that you can, a lot of speech classes and a lot of presentation classes, just, just so that you can get comfortable because this wasn't always easy for me. So y'all hear that? It's a lot of pre-work into this craft, so take heed of that information and go for it. Um, Amen. So with, with everything that's going on right now in these times, with, you know, the pandemic, both pandemics that we're dealing with, what are you currently doing um, in re regards to using your platform to spread awareness to some of the issues that's plaguing the African-American community? So do so much like of course I've, I've went out of protest of course i've voted um mm -hmm. but what i can cater to is my platform so all i have is like that's what i have so i've created um the media prince.com slash black lives matter so when you go to that i'm actually gonna put it back up so you can go back to us that you can donate to all the platforms that really help with against police brutality uh police brutality uh, defunding the police, um, things of advocacy for campaign petitions to get some people out. So that's all I do is just use my platform to give a voice to help that change and push that change. And I also make sure that I continue to use my platform to continue to, to promote those that are still doing great things amongst the chaos of everything that's going on. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Because so at the end of the day, Throughout the chaos, there are still a lot of great black people doing great black things. So I want to make sure that my platform still is that outlet that doesn't cloud, you know, the greatness that is still happening amongst all, you know, the stuff. Wonderful, wonderful. So let, before we go, let all of the people, let everyone know everything that you have going on and how they can find it, how they can tap in, how they can support. Let them know everything that you have going on at this particular moment. 
Um, so I'm getting ready to go back on TMZ. So you can catch me hey. on TV again if you're here in the den. Well, everywhere. Actually, just find out where your Fox program uh, showcases TMZ Live. Uh, I have a few projects that I'm in the middle of working on, so I can't say too much of those, but I'm excited for that. It's a lot of things that I have already in the works and have already finished, too, that I just can't share just yet. But I'm excited to know that um, I'm continuously still creating great things. In this time frame, I'm just that's what all I'm doing now. Just stay tuned to MediaPrince.com. Uh, follow the underscore the media prince.com underscore social that's where you can find i finally have um separated the media prints from the media prince.com so the media prince.com is everything you'll find for the blog yeah. everything the website and then um just stay tuned for more work um there's limitless i tell people your your craft is what you make it so Whatever opportunity I want to create tomorrow, I do it, and that's it. You know, we're in a realm of just being able to do whatever we want to do. I turn the big three zero next Friday, so I'm excited. Oh, okay. About so you're 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 a cancer. I'm a cancer. Okay. Shout out to the cancers out there. I'm on the cuffs from Gemini Cancer. <laughs> June twenty first. Hey, hey, my hey, birthday hey. was last last weekend. Turn up. I'm sorry, brother, that you're a Gemini. I, I apologize. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, bro, like, you know, um, you already know on the behalf of con community connoisseurs, man, we love the work that you're doing. You know what I mean? You're an African-American male that came from humble beginnings that's out here doing your thing. You already know we're going to, we're, we're lock, locking arms now. We're going to continue to lock arms. You have our full support. So, Man, I just want to thank, thank you. For I thank y'all. I thank y'all. Absolutely, really man. Because y'all are giving look, a voice to people like me. So, see, you're doing. Hey, look, man. That's what it's for. That's what the platform's for, man, to give people their flowers while they're here and also to inspire. Many people, I'm sure, that have tapped in today are inspired by this conversation. You gave a lot of great Jews. But before you go, if there's anything that you can say right now, or three things that you can say right now to inspire. It's your floor. Let the people let the people know what those things are. So um, I want everybody to know these three things. This this is a three words. You are great. Bam. That's it. That's all. And stop down. That's yourself. all they need to know. That's it. That's it. The moment you realize how bomb you are. It's over. It's over, man. Absolutely, man. Well, thank you again for coming on tonight to the moment of truth. My brother, thank man, you. keep on working. Keep on doing what you're doing. We'll be in touch. We're going to keep on working, and we talk to you soon, man. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, brother. Have a good evening. You too. Peace. Peace. Well, there you have it, the media prince, my guy, Langston Vincent. He's doing so many great things in his respective area of work. Be sure to follow him on Instagram, the media prince. And thank you all for joining tonight. This is the Moment of Truth Community Connoisseurs IG Live podcast. This podcast is every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. shop. Please tune in next week. We have a special guest lined up for you. Thanks again. Good night. God bless. Peace.